everybody! Today's main ingredients eggs. We are going to make delicious Korean side dish with these eggs. It's called Keran Jangjorim. First, I took these eggs out of my refrigerator and then let them sit at the room temperature for one hour. Because if eggs are cold, it's going to be really broken easily. These eggs are heirloom eggs, kind of a little expensive, but really delicious. And egg yolk is very yellow, so that's my favorite these days. Uh, but any type of eggs you can use. I'm just boiling my water, around five cups of water. Keran jangjorim is a really good protein, good resource of protein. And also really good side dish for lunch box. But today you will see my a little secret to make it more tasty. Two teaspoons white vinegar. And now my eggs, be careful. Three. We need one more. Cover this. From now, very important. I will just boil this for eight minutes. Eight minutes is uh, like around a little soft boiled eggs you will make it. Uh, if you want to make the hard boiled eggs, it should be the, like 10 minutes, 11 minutes. So let's see. This time is like, this is over medium high heat. So around one minute after, use just your wooden spoon or anything, and then just really stir this. Why? You know that reason? The egg yolk. Egg yolk inside it should be the center. Slowly. Slowly roll. Nice. A few minutes later, again, so one more time, just stir this. Meanwhile, let's prepare some broth, delicious broth. We need, I will use the four anchovies. Let's just take out all the heads and guts, like this. Heads and guts. This time, let's use also heads. I never use this inside this uh, black guts because it makes this broth kind of cloudy and gray color and plus sometimes a bitter taste. And then one garlic clove, jalapeno, optional. Medium size half onion and garlic. Okay, so let's heat up this pan. Anchovy first. Without any oil or any water, just uh, I'm going to stir this to get rid of a little bit of fishy smell. And then onion. Slice this. And garlic also. Slice. This is a jalapeno. If you like a non-spicy version, you can skip it. That's a jalapeno. Onion, garlic. Just one cup of plain water here. And then soy sauce. Soy sauce, quarter cup. Cover and let it boil. These guys are not hot anymore because we soaked this in the water maybe five minutes. And then strain this. Hold these guys and then like this. Slowly. Around 12 times. Then look like this. We are going to shell these guys so easily. Okay, so here, already right. And then between these eggs and eggshell, between this water, that's what I want. And then easily you can shell. See?
really pretty, isn't it? Always deep in the water, cold water, and more easily you can. Some people like, uh, okay, can you share this egg? And they bring the eggs. Egg, eggs are all your like scratch, you know, fingernail scratches everywhere. You know, it's not pretty, but this is the, like a secret. Under the water, you can all work like this. It is jewels. My seven jewels are waiting. This broth is so smells good, especially anchovy stock with the peppers, green chili pepper. I use the jalapeno pepper today. It smells really good. So turn off. Doesn't it look delicious already? Yeah, it's delicious. Let it cool down a little bit. Look at this. A uh, little before becoming hard-boiled eggs. Really, I love this taste. Let's see. Yeah. Strain this. And squeeze. So I'm using just only clear broth, but you guys may be, oh, Mangchi, I like to eat this one. So eat it, why not? So you can just mix with rice, hot, warm rice, it'll be tasty. Just squeeze out, and then we are going to get this very clear broth. Wait until you cool down, and then pour this broth here. How would you like it? Isn't it pretty? Oh my. Probably you have a question, Mangchi. I like to make a big batches and then I like to keep in the refrigerator. Of course, that's a really great idea. I will show you, okay? Here you go. I made this a few days ago. You can keep this in a jar like me. Keep in the refrigerator up to one week. And then, just whenever you want, uh, you know, serve this side dish, take it out and cut it, and then with some soy sauce or pour, that's it. This is a little salty side dish, so you need to serve this with rice or something bland. Rice, noodles, and steamed potatoes, and porridge. It'll be good. So let me taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Soft boiled eggs by itself are delicious, but this broth is make it really, really more and more tasty. Mmm. It's so creamy and savory and a little sweet and a little like a spicy and this broth is really really tasty. Today we made keran jangjorim. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.